Hello YouTube, I'm Flair. This is the first video in a short series outlining each of the classes in the Battlefield 1 beta, going over their strengths, weaknesses, loadouts, and tactics that should be used. Although this video is made with the beta content, I'm sure that most of it will still be relevant when the full game launches, apart from some small things like weapon balance, which is always subject to change. The first class we're going to look at is my personal favorite, the Medic. The Medic class is the healer class in Battlefield 1. It also happens to excel at medium to long range combat. Having a separate Medic role is a departure from the last few Battlefield games, where the Assault class had both the healing equipment and, objectively, the best weapons in the game for most ranges. In Battlefield 1, this changes, and each class is given a dedicated engagement range. For the Medic, this is medium to long range, and they are given semi-automatic rifles, akin to the DMRs from Battlefield 4, with a few changes which I'll go over later. The Medic retains all of its healing capabilities from before, with small and large medkits and a revive syringe, which, unlike in Battlefield 4, revives teammates to full health without having to be charged up. The Strengths So, what does the Medic do well? First, it is a killing machine at anything past close range, and anything less than extreme long range. The harder hitting semi-autos, like the Mondragon and the Selbstlader M1916, both come in scoped variants, have very little spread increase per shot, and reliably kill in 3 hits or less as long as you don't hit a limb at max range. These two weapons are some of the best in the game, in my opinion, and they make the medic class something to fear if you see one out of your engagement distance. The two other weapons that the medic has, the Che Raguti and the M1907, both have higher damage drop off, which means that they are not as effective at past 40 meters, needing 4 and 5 bullets to kill respectively. They also do not have options for magnified optics, and their spread increase per shot is greater. However, both of these weapons can be fired with higher rates of fire, and can be put into an automatic mode, which makes them do a little better at close medium range. I don't recommend using the automatic mode on the Che Rigotti, as the recoil and spread get harder to handle. The M1907 can be used in automatic mode, as long as it's kept in short bursts. The Che Rigotti is excellent on the flag burn as long as you space out your shots, and the M1907 can be great in cloudy or sandy conditions as it's still relatively accurate when fired in automatic mode. Even the two more long range weapons can still be used with moderate success in closer ranges, as they do not have much spread increase per shot and kill fairly quickly. The medic is also great at healing teammates, as it's always been. The small medkit, the bandage pouch, heals even faster than it did in BF4, and if you look at a teammate, who's injured, you can press Q to automatically throw them a bandage pouch. The syringe is also slightly easier to use, not needing to be charged, as long as you can actually find who you want to revive. Right now, in the beta, the revive indicators only show up if the downed teammate has requested a medic, and they can skip the revive faster by holding space, so reviving in the Battlefield 1 beta is a lot trickier than it was in Battlefield 4. Hopefully this is fixed by the time the full game is released. If you're a soldier, please request a medic. I can say that again. Please request a medic. It makes our job so much easier. The weaknesses. What does the medic do poorly? First, it is very weak against anyone in close ranges. An assault will shred you in milliseconds, and even a good support will have you for lunch. Most pistols are actually superior to the medic's guns in close quarters. Only the M1907 has a chance of beating an SMG up close. A quick switch to your pistol or a quick melee will be your best option most of the time. The medic will also lose most battles against a scout at long ranges, simply because if you want to keep up the rate of fire to outdamage them, you'll probably start missing, and the scout's bolt action will get you in just a couple shots. If you do want to beat a scout, you need good cover, keep healing yourself, and keep bothering them with your semi-auto when they peek, and eventually, you might win. Loadouts The medic can use four different primaries, with two variants of each. First, the M1907, an American select fire rifle. This comes in two variants, factory and automatic. You'll want to use the automatic, as it can fire in full auto, and it has better control. This gun is my least favorite for the medic, as it's not great past close medium range, and submachine guns will beat it in close range. Its only strong points are the high magazine capacity and fast reload. For strategies with this gun, try staying stealthy and use it to flank enemies in tighter areas, like the town between C and D flags on Sinai Desert. Second, the Che Rigotti, an Italian prototype select fire battle rifle. In real life, this could actually cycle at 900 rounds per minute, although in the game it is limited just to 300. This is a weapon with middling stats, and it's great for ranges just outside of the assault's effective ranges, around 35 to 40 meters. It comes in two variants, factory and artillery. Although the factory variant has what might be the nicest iron sights in the game, the artillery variant has much less spread and spread increase, so it's the one to use. 
This weapon is great on the flag zones. Be careful of the wrong reload times caused by the stripper clip loading system, though. Third, we have the Mondragon, a Mexican semi-auto that was actually used in numbers by the German Army and Air Force. The two variants are Artillery and Marksman. Marksman is the one to use, as it is more accurate and comes with a scope. This is a very powerful rifle, and it can kill in three shots or less. Stay at longer ranges and you'll be untouchable, or and you can even come in close because of its accuracy and high damage. Great for defending on rush or pushing up through more open environments. Its only drawback is that it reloads slowly, like the Cherogofi. Finally, we have the German Selbstlader M1916, a weapon similar to the Mondragon in that it is powerful and even more accurate. It also reloads with 20 round magazines, so can be reloaded much quicker and fire twice as many rounds than the Mondragon. It comes in artillery and sharpshooter variants, and the sharpshooter should be used as it is more accurate and comes with a scope. For tactics, use it as you would use the Mondragon. Its only drawback is the slow fire rate of 225 rounds per minute, the slowest of all the rifles the medic has in the beta. For gadgets, there are the two med kits, the revive syringe, and three kinds of rifle grenades. These are rifle-launched grenades with a longer range than hand grenades. Unlike Battlefield 4's grenade launchers, they do not explode on impact, but other than that, they function very similarly. The smoke grenade launcher is great on rush, and the high-explosive grenade is moderately effective against vehicles, but still not as effective as an anti-tank grenade or the AT rocket gun that the assault can carry. Wrapping it up. In short, the medic class is very effective at medium range. It should be used slightly back of the front lines, and of course, to heal and revive teammates. I think the medic is one of the best classes to use in Battlefield 1, so please go give it a try. That'll be the end of this video, so leave a like or subscribe if that's what you like to do, and thanks for watching! Until the next video, flare out.